Today we're talking Compass Rose. Compass Rose was the precision frame that was supposed to dethrone Matador. So why aren't people using it nearly as much? Well, today I want to take a look under the hood of this weapon, not necessarily at its perks or its stats, but look at the weapon, its model, break it down, see why this weapon is performing so poorly compared to Matador, while on paper it should be just as good if not better. But before we hop into the video, if you do enjoy the video, if you learn anything, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I make all kinds of educational and informative content on Destiny, whether I'm going over perks, weapon stats, builds, or digging under the hood like I am with this one. Let's hop into it. Compass Rose has a base range of 62 and a handling of 35. Meanwhile, Matador has a base range of 65 and handling of 43. So why is it that people expect Compass Rose to be so much better than Matador when it doesn't beat it in range or handling? As far as range goes, if you equip them both with a range masterwork and either a range barrel or magazine with opening shot, you're sitting at 95 range on Compass Rose and 98 on Matador, leaving only a 3 range difference, which is pretty much neglectable. The big kicker for me personally is that first perk. So for Matador, you have access to Threat Detector, which can get you to max stability, max handling, whatever you really need there, it does require you to be around two enemies to get those maximum benefits, whereas just one stack doesn't give you nearly as much handling or stability, and I know stability doesn't matter, but I'm just mentioning it because the perk doesn't. While Compass Rose has access to Quick Draw, which gives you max handling all the time, and while it does mess up your target acquisition, it really doesn't do anything on pellet shotguns. I don't fill it whenever I use it. The biggest problem for this weapon has nothing to do with quick draw. And now that we've went over kind of what's wrong with Matador with Threat Detector and what Compass Rose can do better and what's, you know, quote unquote bad about it with its target acquisition and slick draw. It really doesn't matter with Slick Draw, but it still comes down to the fact that it seems like Matador can consistently land shots easier and land kills easier than Compass Rose can. And Matador doesn't have an origin trait, and for Crucible, Compass Rose might as well not have one because Dreamwork is never gonna proc because you don't have just a ton of ammo in your weapon. I mean, it could, but odds are it won't. And the new deer focus is about sustained fire, increasing your range and accuracy, which would be nice, except you're not really doing sustained fire. And we already have max range, so it's pretty much neglectable as well. So when using both of these weapons, why is it that people are saying Compass Rose isn't nearly as good? And that's because of these two pictures. I scrolled my cursor as far over to the top right as I could for both of these. I will then lay the pictures over top of each other, and you will see that the barrel on Compass Rose is just shorter, meaning that even though it hits at 6.71 range, and so can Matador with max range, you're actually hitting just a little bit further with your Matador because the extra range that it actually doesn't have on paper exists because of that short distance of the barrel so literally compass rose is just worse because it is a smaller frame weapon which feels really bad but that means it's just going to spread out more it's not going to have as much range and normally i would say i'm crazy you can't feel it but i literally made a video on compass rose being bad a year ago on tiktok and yes it probably had somewhat to do with the fact that it doesn't have opening shot, except I don't even use opening shot on my Matador, so for me personally, that wasn't even a deciding factor. Just using both of these weapons with these exact roles, or for Compass Rose something similar so it just didn't have opening shot is the point, it felt worse. And I think that just comes down to the barrel. I used to think that it had something to do with the fact that Matador was bugged and had a 80 impact stat instead of 70, but that is completely gone from the game. The fill still feels the same. The fact that Matador is just better than Compass Rose seems like it might have something to do with the barrel size, but it could be something just under the hood that we can't actually see. That being said though, that doesn't make this shotgun necessarily bad. I just think Matador is still better, unfortunately. And even in this footage, you've seen me get killed by other Compass Roses, so there's tons of people that don't have a problem with it. But for me personally, I'm not replacing my Matador with it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing, it would really help me out. And comment down below what you think about this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it may be.